Good morning. Today I am going to demonstrate the biocomposter. I am Dr. B. Samuel Jacob, Assistant Professor, Department of Biotechnology. So I am going to demonstrate the preparation on or do it by yourself for biocomposter from the plastic discarded from your homes. I am going to explain two different concepts today. That is one with the uh, age-old mineral water and another with the uh, detergent bottle. Let's go on. Many of you have seen these two components in our home. Like routinely, when we use it, in due course of time, almost in one year, there would be a time that we need to change these two components time to time because the plastics are not safer to continuously use. Let us see the procedure and materials. I am going to show how to reuse it. So these are all the materials required to prepare a biocomposter. First of all, I am taking the top portion of this mineral water bottle and I am going to convert into a biocomposter by opening the bottom side of it as shown it here. A small portion of the bottom can be cut and made into a, a vertical one. In order to seal the bottom portion, I am keeping a plastic scrubber that we use for washing vessels to seal it and the scrubber will act as a filter while the biocomposting goes on. This is how it looks like after I join both the bottom portion and the top portion of the composter along with the filter. So this that's all the biocomposter is now ready. Now we are going to add the components. I am having a dry waste that is the leaves from the garden, a wet waste that is from the kitchen where daily discards can be taken and I am going to use a manure that is a dried cow manure as a microbial inoculum and a soil to do a composting process. First I will add the soil to the bottom of the biocomposter unit. Over it I will be keeping the, the dry waste. Dry waste and the wet waste has to be proportionally added in 3 is to 1 ratio to make it as a uh, balance the carbonation to nitrogen ratio. So it acts as a sandwich, soil, then the, uh, the dry waste, wet waste, over which I will be adding the manure as a microbial load for decomposition, over which after that I will fill it with the sand. Likewise, I will made it into a 2-3 segment as I repeated as a sandwich model. So again dry waste and then wet waste, then covering with the manure and the soil. Finally, my biocomposter is ready. You can ask me why the bottom portion is needed. So it is needed to collect the uh, liquid that is derived during the decomposition. So I will moist the biocomposter with time to time with water and then I will cover the top portion of the biocomposter in order to avoid the evaporation also to avoid the contact of insects and other flies that comes in contact. So after I cover it with the, uh, the gunny bag that has some aeration, now my biocomposter is ready. This is the final output of the biocomposter and every three days I will open it and then I will mix the biocompost that is created inside. Keep this in a dry and shade place and also avoid contact with rain. Now I am going to show the second portion that is detergent bottle. This have a top portion and cap portion. Both have a different plastic material. One is PET, another one is polypropylene. I am going to use it as a garden utensil. I will open the bottom portion of it wherein it acts as a basket. I can fill it with the biocompost that I created along with the soil in 1 is to 3 ratio and then I can moisten it with water and start plant the material that I want to grow. Here I have shown a flower that is a table rose. Why I am showing this is that these plastic bottles are difficult to degrade and while recycling people are not separating the pet and the polypropylene component. So it find a difficult in nature to degrade and remains as such. And this is an example how it beautifully has made it into one garden utensil. 
Thanks for watching. Good day, save nature.